Hello farmers, welcome back to Wither Farms where winter is upon us. You can tell by the snow and the snow cover and our pigs are doing just wonderfully but I'm expecting some more pigs here or I should say piglets very soon. Um, the females are all pregnant and I'm expecting them to be running around here oh within about a, another month or so. Uh, give or take. Uh, the pigs can use some food today, but what they really need as well is some straw. We're not getting no manure from the pigs because, well, I didn't have no way to put bedding on down. But hopefully we can fix that problem today. Ugh, winter. Gotta love it. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be selling some canola first thing this morning. The price is about as good as it's gonna be. Actually, it was actually, it was actually really better last night, but, um, you know, it was around midnight and the stores were closed. Just couldn't get there, so we're gonna sell some canola today. Not all of it. I got about sixty thousand liters in the silo. Probably just gonna take a trailer over and leave the rest for the pigs. I want to make sure I leave myself plenty, and I mean when I mean plenty, we got like go, I'm gonna leave about maybe twenty thousand liters somewhere around there. That should be more than enough for the pigs, I think, for a year. At least, hopefully, I I, I hope that's enough. Uh, we're gonna use the T8 this morning because the Massey Ferguson is kind of buried in here. As we can kind of see, it's it's back there. I have to move some stuff around. Still got to pick up that seed, but uh, I'll take care of that probably in the springtime um, with some equipment that hopefully we'll buy today. So let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, still got some seeds in here, actually. Let me go ahead and... Well, might as well dump the rest of the seeds on the ground. We already got some on there. And then uh, we're going to take a full trailer on up to a, uh, a, a place I don't think I've been to as of yet. Um, some woman named Lily is offering us the best price for canola this morning. So that's where we're going. Uh, hopefully we get more than enough cash. Uh, nope, this is where I dump off the grain. Don't need to be going up here. And I already got snow in the back here. Can't get more than two feet. That's how hard it's snowing. Can't get more than two feet without snow coming on down. All right, let's go in here and quickly get some canola in here. So just a little over 700 pounds per ton, or sorry, per 1,000 liters. So quick math. Uh, I'm not going to try to do it this morning. Let's go up and sell it and get what we get. But I'm hoping to buy a skid steer. I was looking at a small tractor and someone at the store said, uh, maybe you should look into a skid steer for what you want to do. And I'm like, you know what? That might not be a bad option. And there is a used one for sale, so um, if I can gather up somewhere around 30,000 pounds, which we should be able to, we'll be buying ourselves a skid steer this morning and probably leasing, or no, I can actually buy the bale, uh, bale shredder. Um, I'll need to buy myself actually some bales because I don't have any straw bales. So that's what we'll need to take care of the pigs, and they'll be good. They should be rather good. And I can also buy a bucket for the skid steer later on. Uh, once we get the manure, so just have to buy some straw bales until we do our harvest next year. I still haven't figured out between our two fields, uh, we're going to be planting three crops, wheat, canola, and corn. I just got to figure out what crop I want to put where in what field. Haven't figured that out yet. I think I'll just wait until springtime and just, just go by uh, what looks the best. There's snow everywhere, so I gotta take it careful on the roads. Actually, I'm gonna drive right in the middle of the road. No traffic coming, so we're fine. Well, hopefully, we get enough cash to go ahead and buy the buy the skid steer, and then in a couple days we should be able to sell our wheat, uh, not all of it, but most of it, and hopefully pay off another fifty thousand pounds on our Massey Ferguson that we uh, we bought last year. So up here, I think it's actually called Lily's Grains where we're going. I've been by here many times, but I don't think I've actually been in the parking lot at all. So I think it'll be the first time I've actually sold anything here. And I was not expecting snow, because really the winters around here have been rather mild. Occasionally we get snow, but not too often. But we got snow cover right away this winter, so it might be a might be a rather cold winter. All right, hopefully we get a decent amount here. 
Let's pour it on in and see what the grand total gets up to. Yeah, the money today is just going towards a skid steer, a bale shredder, and of course I'll have to buy a couple bales of straw. Maybe just one bale. I think one bale might be enough. We only got five pigs. There, that is actually more than what I need, so that's all good. Yeah, getting a trailer with a cover on it wouldn't be a bad idea at some point. Because I sell all my grain basically in the winter. But I think this is the first time this has been a problem where it's snowing like it is. So I'm going to park the trailer way underneath the shed so no more snow can get into it. And then um, head up to the store. I'll have to walk up to the store because uh, I'm going to purchase ourselves a skid steer and a bale shredder. And hopefully they got some bales that I can go ahead and buy as well. Not sure this is good practice, but I think the store should be closing the doors in the winter months, but it is what it is. So we basically, after selling the canola and buying our new equipment, well, this New Holland L218 used and the bale shredder new and getting a bale, um, yeah, we're pretty much right down back to where we were, but that that's okay, that's fine. Uh, let's fire this puppy up here. And let's see, where do I attach to this thing? Uh, I think it's going to be on this side here. Or maybe it's to that side there. Saw a connection to that side, so I figured it was on that side, but maybe not. This seems more logical. There we go. And is there a way to pick up this bale? Or am I going to have to like walk it in there? Well, first things first. Got the skid steer fired up and I took the bale shredder off. And on the front end of the bale shredder, if you will, there is a bale spike that also attaches to it. So that you have a way to carry the bale on down since I don't have no way to actually transport it currently. I mean, I could have gone up with uh, my baling trailer and got the one bale and had to unload it, but this seemed a little bit easier. Plus, I get the use of the use, using the skid steer and getting used to it. But I have to drive all the way down. Maybe I should cut away some of the hedgerow there so I have an easier access to the pig pen in the future. But the winter's here. Ooh, uh, very slippery out. Yeah, let's let's not ruin our new skid steer. Uh, <laughs> the winters have been very mild around here. And the first day I need to do a lot of work, it seems like, in the winter. They're getting a good amount of snow already. It's already uh, covering up the tires, the lower part of the tires, and getting up to the rims on the skid steer. It's a good amount of snow. I don't know what's going to stop snowing, if ever. But i got to drive back up to the store and get the actual bale shredder and see if I can put it to good use. Alright, so there is that. Now back to the store. Seems like a long journey taking the skid steer up to the store and back. <laughs> Even though it's just up the road. But it took a little while to get back up there and back, but we're going to give this a try. I have used one of these before, very briefly. I did not have much success with it before. Uh, let's give we'll give it a try though. Uh, this is my cheapest option to go with. I thought about just getting a bale shredder, but the skid steer will take care of a few things around the farm anyways. So we're gonna give it a try here. Alright, let's go ahead and take off the shredder itself. Which leaves us the bale spike part. Uh yep, turn like this. Alright, so I'm not really sure I know how the bale is supposed to go in here. I don't think this is the way you're supposed to do it. This doesn't seem right. Uh, I'm just trying to back up here. That bale just seems awfully big for that shredder. Maybe I'm supposed to be using miniature bales? But this is all the store had. All 
right now it's got to find the trigger for the bale itself uh, let's see here what side is there a tipping side uh, I don't want to unload I want a straw blow it in see if I can find it does register that's in oh, right here there we go And that's all they require for straw currently. Uh, the best thing I need to do with the str uh, straw bale is put it into cover. Because that will deteriorate over time in the elements that we do have. So the pigs now have straw. They have bedding. So we should start getting some solid manure from them anytime. And that's really key for us around here. Because I would like to get an orchard started. I don't know when. Uh, I guess it all depends on how much manure we get from the pigs here throughout the winter months. So the skid steer is going to do a few things for us. It'll, I'm going to get a bucket for it next year. Or I say next year, but in the springtime. Uh, they're relatively cheap. So I'll be able to pick up that seed that I accidentally dumped in the shed area. I'll be able to grab manure from the pigs and put that onto the trees. Once we get the trees planted and start growing some fruit. And of course now also, I'll be able to give the pigs some wonderful warm bedding for the entire season. I'm just going to sneak this in somewhere out of the elements, hopefully. Now, I probably should have a quick look at the animals to see how they're doing on some feed. Um, I'd like to get through another couple days. If I can, because I'm going to go ahead and sell the wheat that we do have. So let me take a quick look here. Uh, the pigs are doing so-so. Now, the pigs' health are going to be right around 50% because... Well, we're not giving them any corn. I don't have really no way to get any corn currently. Uh, the chickens, ooh, I can probably go like another day. Uh, but I might be selling, yeah, I might be selling the wheat tomorrow anyways. Uh, okay, I think I'll go ahead and chance it on the chickens. I think they're fine for another day. And then when I go ahead and sell some wheat, I'll go ahead. Is it wheat or barley I'm actually selling? Uh, I, I keep forgetting that. It's actually barley I need to sell. Ooh, yeah, okay, barley. I keep thinking wheat. It's actually barley. Uh, but the pricing is pretty much the same alongside wheat, and the high price is usually right around three ninety per thousand. So currently, the price for barley is actually four oh seven right now. That is saying the price is really, really good. Maybe I'll sell the barley now. I, I probably should sell the barley now at four oh seven. Uh, the barley high price last year was three ninety. All right, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and actually sell the barley now. And that's got to go to Alien Grains. Well, good thing the T8 probably still a little bit warm. Probably has cooled down a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and sell the barley now. Alien Grains, I do believe, is down here. Nope. Uh, sorry. Wrong corner of the map. Yep, Alien Grains down here in the corner. That's usually where we bring our grain to. So let me go ahead and fire up the T8 once again. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to pull the rest of the wheat out of the silo. And I'm going to top off the chickens and the pigs with some wheat. I wonder if I can go ahead and fill this up here. Yes, it will register and get rid of that snow that's in there. And let's top off the chickens and the pigs with some wonderful, wonderful wheat, wheat grain. And that'll give me the rest of the winter to just bypass, other than taking care of the animals when needed. And then before you know it, spring will be here. And then I can start looking forward to planting. Uh, wheat and canola will be planted first, and then corn, I have to wait a little bit longer for corn. Corn needs to be at a higher temperature than the wheat and canola. If I can turn here. I decided any money I get from selling the barley, I'm going to hold on to that until after we get done planting. That way I make sure I got all the money I do need. I did want to take some money, more money, and pay off some more of the Massey Ferguson loan, but I think I'm going to go ahead and wait on that. Got the pigs, that even take their, pigs and chickens even take the rest of the week. So I'm going to put this back in the silo. Fill up with some barley and we're down to alien grains for one of our, oh, it's going to be it's be at least uh, maybe five trips. Somewhere around there. 
should bring in about, about a good amount of cash, I would think. This snow is just making the roads very slippery today. Gotta be careful going around in corners. And if I start losing control with uh, this much barley behind me, it could not be good for oncoming traffic and myself. Although I'll win most battles, I think. That cement truck, though, may have something to say about it. If it's full or not, all depends. Alright, so this should be the first load of five. So see what I get per load here. We can kind of guesstimate what I'm going to get in total. Yeah, part of me doesn't know next spring if I want to buy my own seed drill or planter or to pay off more of the Massey Ferguson loan. Part of me is leaning towards getting a drill. All right, so about 16,000 per, so four more. That'll be $64,000, uh, sorry, 64,000 pounds more. So we're gonna be right around 100,000 pounds when we get all said and done. All right, I got a few more trips to make here. And let's sell all, but almost all the barley. I need some for the pigs and the chickens. Not quite the full trailer. That does leave us about 20,000 liters of barley still in the silo, so hopefully they'll get the pigs through and the chickens until next harvest time, which it should uh, with ease, I would think. Even if the pigs somehow multiply up to the total that we could have in that pen, which is 20, I think we got more than enough feed. So we're gonna be shy of the 100,000 pounds in the bank account, but overall not too bad. Not as much as I was expecting. Uh, selling the grain this winter. I guess I overestimated how much I was going to get for the grain between canola and the barley, but then we did buy a skid steer and all the equipment that goes with it. But definitely worth it for the pigs if they can go ahead and make some manure. The good thing is we did pay off a lot of the Massey Ferguson loan last season, more than what I needed to. And next season... Should not have no problem paying that off. And I don't think with the money that we do have, I'll be able to buy a drill or a planter. Maybe if a used one comes up, but we'll have to see we'll have to see what next season brings. Right now I'm just looking at uh, the weather right now. Being early winter, we only got this much snow. It does give me a little bit concerned that next spring it might be a late planting season. But maybe the temperatures will rise early in late winter and maybe we'll be able, be able to plant on time or not. Not too sure. Uh, but let's go back to the farm. We're going to top off a little bit of canola and make sure the pigs are full of... So we just fed them barley. Uh, well, actually, we fed them wheat. And give them some more canola. That way they're topped off for a few more days. And they should be good to go. Along with the chickens, at least until hopefully January, I would think. And there we go. Pigs are all set now, hopefully for a few days, like I said. Uh, and now I don't have much more to sell, if anything. I got a little bit of crop I could sell, but definitely got to keep it all for the animals, make sure they're fed for another year until next harvest time. And really, selling what little we have left is not going to get us anything new from the store, I don't think. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the canola back in. I want to park the T8 and the trailer back on up. I'm going inside the cabin and sleep the rest of this day away because it's just one of those days you need to sit inside by the fire, have a hot cup of cocoa or something like that, and uh, just wait and see what the next day brings. Well, usually the last day of winter, I start to get excited about the new farming season coming on up, but this year, ooh, um, I mean, it is raining right now. It's still below freezing, so... Yeah, it looks like a mixture of rain and snow currently right now. But it snowed a lot this winter. The snow is really, really deep. Uh, the forecast for tomorrow, the first day of spring, is up in temperatures in the 40s. So uh, I'm not sure how fast the snow is going to melt, if at all. You can kind of see by our trailer over here. The snow is like halfway up the, up the rims, basically. 
Uh, the chickens and the pigs are doing rather well, I think. Uh, they've been fed and been taken care of. I do want to come over here. I have not checked yet, but I do want to see how much manure the pigs have collected or have piled up so far over here. Uh, no new piglets as of yet, but very soon. Well, I haven't checked yet today. So yeah, we do got manure coming on in. And of course, we got the slurry there. Uh, do we have any any new... We're looking for the, the little little pink ones running around, but uh, not yet. Uh, while I'm over here, uh, did the rain... Okay, it might be just snowing now, uh, which is not, not the best. I'm going to top them off with some water. Yeah, they need much water. Uh, but they seem rather happy, but I'm pretty sure they'd be happier if they had corn. And hopefully we can get, get it to them this year. But uh, it's going to take a little while for this snow to melt. I guess, uh, well, tomorrow I do need to take care of the animals. So first day of spring, we'll see how much snow is uh, going to be here. But I need to top off the pigs, the chickens with their feed. And maybe take some eggs over to Sally at the store. Uh, but I think I'm going to go up and buy a container and bring them on over that way. I think uh, it'll be better for them to see it that way. Uh, let's see, everything all set in here. I think so, uh, but man, I just, I just wish it would stop snowing. I don't know if you're as shocked as I am, but the temperature is 45 degrees, and the first day of spring, all the snow melted overnight. That was a lot of snow, although it did rain overnight, and it actually got to 40 degrees somewhere around 10 o'clock in the evening, so, you know, I guess if it's warm rain, and the temperature is warm, and it's windy, uh, that can get rid of the snow rather quick. Ground temperature is still at 28, and we won't be able to plant until the temperature, ground temperature gets up around, well, let's just say the low 40s. I need about uh, 41, 42 for cereal crop and canola, and for the corn, I think I need like 44, 45 degrees. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our, our new used New Holland L218 with our still the same straw bale that we bought up at the store. And let's go make sure the pigs are doing okay. Give us more bedding. And let's go over and see if we got any uh, piglets running around. I did not check, so I do not know. But I knew it was pretty close. Uh, last time I actually checked, uh, it said like 0.1 years to our next animals. So it could be over there today. Uh, I, I can't believe that snow melted all overnight. That seemed more than uh, what I thought it would. Uh, the grass actually grew rather well over winter um like november the grass was still really short like when we cut it i think we cut it late september early october and the grass just did not grow at all but look at the beginning of this year it looks like the grass is already at a decent growth stage so i might be able to get to grass cutting here in a day or so uh let's see here i don't see any new pigs running around let's give them some straw No, I don't want to turn off the engine. I'm going to go put this away because we don't want our straw bale decomposing out in the elements here. Got to be careful with this skid steer. Um, you know, still a good amount of weight on the front with that bale shredder and, of course, the bale on top of it. And now we'll top off the chickens and the pigs with a feed. And then I'll go up to the store. They do have uh, some egg crates I can use. And we'll go sell some egg crates down at uh, Sally at the store. Now, there's a few things I still need to do. Uh, yeah, our skid steer could use some, some fuel in it. Although I suppose that could last me quite a while for what I'm using it. I know the combine's going to need fuel in it this year. Uh, let's see, what, I think the last vehicle I took down, was it the Massey Ferguson or the T8? Well, the Massey Ferguson is still buried in here. I'm just trying to think what might need some fuel. Uh, looks like the T8 could use some fuel. Alright, I want to go ahead and take care of the pigs and the chickens. And then we'll use the T8 going down, down to the store to sell some eggs. Well, for 15 pounds a piece, we got these handy dandy little cardboard boxes we can put our eggs into. Just make it look a little bit more professional. Now, let's go down and grab our eggs. 
and bring them on down to the store and also top off our T8 with some diesel because it's going to be a little bit of a busy spring here. We got some fields to plant. Now the fields that we have obviously are on the big side for the amount of animals we have so we're just going to keep some of the grain that we harvest this season for the animals but the rest will sell. Then of course in the meantime we got our grass field that will get two possibly three cuts in and that usually can bring in about 80,000 pounds a piece. Uh, but the one thing we are going to need around this farm I think is another shed for some of the extra equipment that we got plus I need some place to store some straw bales so they stay out of the elements of the weather and that way we can give our pigs some bedding and possibly maybe even some new you know some more equipment for the farm or possibly expanding the farm by buying some land uh, but that might be a bit of a stretch here let's bring this on over here our cardboard box has already got a rip into it, but it says it should hold four boxes per. But one box wasn't quite a full one, so it might take a little bit more than that. Alright, so there is one box, or one crate maybe I should call it. Ahead and grab whoop, grab this one here of course cardboard in the rain probably not the best thing to be doing but this cardboard seems to be rather on the thick side so it's one of those industrial cardboard containers so not quite a full one so I'm going to go ahead and sell it anyways. These are kind of on the cheap side. They're like 15 pounds a piece for these crates, so not too bad. Don't really have a way to strap them on in, so hopefully they'll, if I drive slow enough, they'll stay back there nice and steady. Hopefully we get a good penny for them. Seems like for the past four or five months, the end of fall, just at the very end of fall, all through winter, now to start off spring, the precipitation seems to be non-stop, so hopefully that's not a sign of things to come. I mean, a little bit of rain is good for the crop, but I don't want to be working in the fields when they're as muddy as they could end up being. Now let's see what we get for these eggs here. We may have to take them out of the back of the trailer to sell. and grab the whoop uh, all right so that those sold sold ish uh, where's that trigger Got to find the sweet spot for the sugar of the eggs, I guess. There we go. So 554 pounds for that batch of eggs. Uh, can we drop it now? Thank you. So these boxes are reusable. So for 30 pounds, they get to reuse them over and over again. But for much as they're getting wet, who knows how long they'll last for. Now I'm going to go top off the T8 with some diesel because we need it. So 462 pounds worth of diesel. I think I got, what, 550 pounds for the egg. So I made $100. Sorry, 100 pounds. 100 pounds <laughs> on the swap. Uh, so I guess, you know, the chickens are helping out paying for the diesel costs around the farm. So the rest of the day, I guess I'm just going to go around the farm, uh, just check on the equipment, uh, maybe move some things around, maybe tinker around, but uh, it's hard to pull everything out of the shed. It looks like the rain is going to stop here at some point, but once it does, I'll start pulling some stuff out of the shed, maybe get some things rearranged, maybe repair some equipment and get it ready for the spring that's ahead of us. And hopefully the rain will, you know, stay away for about a day or two. 
Uh, but we do need the ground temperature to get up to the low 40s, mid 40s-ish. And once it does, we'll get to planting.